Transforming people, yes. transforming yes. cities. Yes. And a mission church to invites you, you to the gospel to transforms life at Barking Methodist the Church, 39 London Road, Road, Barking Essex. God. You have a promise from God. The fact that God has spoken something to you doesn't mean you will not encounter problem. God told Peter that, listen, go to the house of Cornelius. But when he went to the house of Cornelius and he came to tell his brothers, they were not happy with him. He has to go through everything. He said, the Spirit of God spoke to me to go. Even though he told them the Spirit of God told him to go, they did it. They picked an argument with him. Until he told them, listen, the same Holy Ghost that we received, that we spoke in tongues, while I was speaking to them, the Spirit of the living God came upon them. And that is how I knew, beloved, you may have a word from God, you may have heard from God, you may have heard the promise of God, but it does not mean that you will not encounter problem. It does not mean that you will not encounter opposition. Whatever you are going through, you have a sure word from God. You have a sure word from God. Opposition will come. Jacob had a blessing. He was blessed with all the blessing of Abraham. Yet he had a problem. 21 years. 21 years. He was seated. He struggled in the house. In the hands of his uncle. He will go through whatever you are promised. Divine promises will sustain the overcomers. Divine promises. Keep the promises of God. Keep the word of God. Believe in the prophecy. Keep the prophecy. Don't give up. Let everybody leave you. Let your husband leave you. Let your wife leave you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Believe one more time. Keep your belief. Keep your belief. I heard a story about a woman who God called to go to Korea. He told the husband, and the husband said, If you leave this house, don't come back again. She went to God. God said, I said, Go to Korea. He told the husband, The husband said, The day you will back from this house, don't ever come again. She could not. One day she went to God and God said, I am your husband. And she knew from the word of God. So she packed with two little children and she left and went to Korea. Without any help, without any hope. When she came back after one month, the husband has read married. He said, I don't want to see you in this house. She followed the promises of God. She suffered a while. God handed her, hallelujah. God handed her, gave her a better husband, gave her a better life. Her ministry grew. Listen, the fact that you have the word from God, you had a prophetic word, you had a promise from God, it doesn't mean you don't go through turbulence. You go through difficult times. You go through hard times. But I promise you, divine promises who sustain all those who overcome you will overcome you will overcome when isaac was blessing jacob he says see the smell of my my son like a field that has been blessed but the man who has been blessed was slain by his own uncle david was anointed with the anointing of god but saw pursue him until he said, as long as the Lord lives, there is only one step between me and death. No, you will not die. You will not die. Jonathan said, you will not die. David, you will be king. Take David, you will not die. My father saw you will not kill you. Don't give up, David. Don't give up. You will be king. And David became a king. Hallelujah. So pursuing. He came so close to killing the God. But divine promises. Say divine promises. Say divine promises. promises. Will sustain. Will sustain. The overcomer. The promises God has given you. The prophetic word upon your life. It will sustain you. You 
you may enter into your clothing, you will enter into that store. God has a surprise for you. God said, So, Paul, I will give you everybody in the boat. The boat will be destroyed. Things in your circumstances will be destroyed. The boat was destroyed, or the cargo of the ship was destroyed, but they survived. They bought another ship and they went to their destination. The gospel was preached in Melitus. By the same storm, it opened the door for the gospel to be preached in another land. That Paul wouldn't have gone there if it wasn't for the storm. Your storm will locate you. Your storm will move you to another place where you are needed. The challenges in your life will streamline your life. It will take you to a place where you are needed. And something will be done over there before the full promises of God will come to pass. We give God the glory. Give the Lord a clap of it. Give the Lord a good message. Lord, thank you so much. Divine promises will sustain the overcome. What you are going through will destroy you. It will not kill you. What you are going through is part of your calling. It's part of your life story. Don't give up. You succeed. Hallelujah.